the first thing we'll do is install Wine. Uh, the installation will be different depending on which distribution you have. A lot of beginners use Ubuntu, so I'll go through that first. I would recommend you um, do a sudo apt update and then a sudo apt upgrade. This will have your system up to date. Then just follow these instructions. So copy this, paste it over here. For me it's not going to work because I'm, I'm using Fedora and the commands won't work. After that, copy this and paste it here. And if it asks you to say yes or no, just say yes and press enter. Then it'll ask you for the repository version, which will depend on what Linux uh, Ubuntu version you're running. I tried it with Linux Mint 20.1, and for that version I used this. It says here Linux Mint 20.x. I'm guessing that's 20 and above. So after that, just do a sudo apt update. Um, I ran this in a virtual machine. This is not um, Linux Mint. Uh, no, it's Fedora. After that, install the staging branch. Um, for some reason, these versions did not work for me. So um, just install the staging branch, and it should be fine. For Debian, it's pretty much the same um, process. For Fedora, it's a little bit more complex. If you're using Fedora and you're a beginner, I recommend watching this guide, this series by Matt's Creative. Um, I watched the series and it really taught me a lot. Uh, he shows you how to install Wine and he links to a blog that goes into more detail. So definitely give it a watch. Otherwise, um, try your luck with this. After that, we'll install, um, I don't know why I did that. We'll install Psy. Then you can double click it and it will automatically extract it. And then we don't need this anymore. So just move it to the trash. Then we'll install Bottles, uh, which is in the Flathub. Just type Flathub Linux, it'll take you there. And then search for Bottles. Um, you can also install Play on Linux if you prefer. Um, it won't be in the Flat Hub, so you'll have to search it up here or install it through the terminal. Um, and yeah, install it and then launch it. We'll also launch uh, bottles here. And we'll install Paint to Sci in bottles first. As you can see, I was um, doing a test here. So just create the bottle. Um, you choose the plus sign, type the name, and click on software, not on gaming. Uh, Gaming should like install different um, kind of like components to it, so don't just choose software. Uh, again, I'll show you that. Type the name, click software, and then uh, create the bottle. Go to Wine Config here in Utilities and scroll down to Windows 7 and apply. It won't work with Windows 10, it'll just bug it out. Then go to Runners and choose Chardonnay 6.8. I don't know why it keeps going to Proton because Chardonnay was the default one. Maybe it's because I installed Proton. And then for the DXVK version, um, go to the 1.8.1. Um, you won't see these options there. Uh, you'll have to install them by clicking this. So I just go down and then 1.8.1. When I click this blue button, it'll, it'll install it. Same thing for the wine runners. Um, again, Chardonnay is in the default, so I don't think you'll need to do anything with that. Uncheck this, and you should be good to go. There's no need to do anything here or here. 
So just go to bottles, go to run, and go to the the folder, uh, the site folder, and uh, run the program. I won't do it here because Play on Linux and um, bottles share the same um, like folder, so I'll do it on Play on Linux first. Also, um, there's there's a few issues that you'll encounter when you run Paint Tool Sci, so I'll cover those later after I install it on Play on Linux. With Play on Linux, it's a little bit different. Go to Tools, Manage Wine Versions. It'll give you a list of the um, all the wine versions that have kind of been published. Then go look around for 5.9 staging and then click this arrow here. It'll install it. You can also do 4.21 staging, but 5.9 is better. If you have an AMD card, just go to the AMD versions here and look around, click the arrow. Once you have that installed, go to install a program and install a non-listed program. And then click next next and then next uh, install a program in a new virtual drive next type in the name it doesn't need to be the the name it could be whatever you want check these three boxes check the 5.9 staging version 64 windows installation it'll ask you to install wine mono and wine gecko uh, click install for both of them. Then I'll then it'll ask you to install Wine Gecko again. Just install it again. So we'll come here. Um, if the Windows version is in Windows 7, there's no need to do anything. Just press OK, and it'll take us to the dependencies here or components. Scroll down to install DXVK 181 and I almost clicked next and then install vcron 2019 then I'll ask you to browse the XE file I'll do that go to the folder and run the XE press OK and then we'll see our first issue in a second here let me just put a few pixels here alright I have my pencil here for my tablet and then it'll, it'll bring up a history issue w once you draw this charging of history data whatever just go to other go to options and uncheck uh, go to history uh, and recovery and uncheck um, to suppress memory usage and then you won't have that problem anymore now um, you'll actually encounter the same problem even though you unchecked it and that's because if you stay here uh, actually and that's because um, play on Linux is still trying to install paint tool sci so just get out of it and it'll finish installing it. Um, say browse here. This will create a shortcut here. If you don't, if you don't do it, um, you'll have to go to configure and create a shortcut there. So browse here. Download. Sci sci xc next. Paint tool sci. Sorry, I dropped my pencil pen and then I don't want to make another shortcut so it should be installed and everything should be running okay so I'll, I'll run you through the issues you will encounter which is just one more um, again doesn't up the history problem doesn't appear because we unchecked um, check this um, 
so just to show you it has um, pressure sensitivity you can stabilize it everything runs well I have an XP pen Deco Pro just in case you, you want to know um, the next issue you might encounter is if you maximize the window uh, as you can see the arrow um, I really hate that zooming uh, a scrubby zoom now we can zoom like this um, so you can see we have the arrow here that goes like this and then the circle goes like this that's because we're maximized um, so if I try to draw as you can see it's drawing in the side of the arrow not at the end of the arrow so all you need to do is not be maximized and it'll fix it'll fix that so this is like bugged a little bit just do that so as you can see now we're drawing at the end of the um, the the arrow so if we get a bigger brush here as you can see now it looks like this which is how it's supposed to look so those are all the issues that you will encounter other than that everything runs well um, you can um, you can mix colors right um, you can blend the color modes work um, it doesn't really crash if you want to um, be able to save then you have to buy paint to side and go through the, the instructions uh, on how to add the key if you have it cracked then it will the crack will show you how to um, how to get it working so I don't really need to explain that so for bottles again just run the XC and everything will run just fine um, I prefer again we'll have we'll have this issue you have to like on maximize it there we go I prefer paint to side because with bottles you have to run the XC every time uh, with paint to side you just need to open up the program and run it um, with bottles you have to open up bottles go to paint to side run the XC choose the file and then open it it's kind of too many options <laughs> too many steps so um, that's it uh, thank you for watching and I hope you don't run into any issues